it's uh, it's amazing what they can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, uh, you guys' situation here, uh, you know, in a way, I mean, well, most everybody in the NBA has been through a time where something could have trade, free agency, dealing with a life change regarding your occupation. Uh, Josh Smith is kind of going through that now. What what You've been through a scenario. Um, what kind of advice would you have for anybody? Just play the game. Um, you know, you work on things that only you can control, which is your effort and how uh, you approach the game on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, rumors, you can't help that. Uh, trade scenarios, you can't help that. All you can do is play the game. That's the most important thing you can do, which is very, very tough, but you know you have to perform. Uh, coming out of the break last year, you guys stumbled a little bit. Is there kind of a conscious uh, memory bank thing there about let's not do that? Well, not so much a memory bank. We just um, focus on what we're trying to do right now. Um, I think we're on a, a bit of a roll. We were on a bit of a roll until uh, the All-Star break happened. We're just trying to prolong that streak. Um, you know, and just and just get better game to game. We're not looking at things as a whole. We're looking at tonight against Atlanta, and um, you know, eventually after um, a game by game basis, you can go turn back, look at your work, and hopefully, uh, you know, we can put a lot of uh, uh, road wins together, and um, you know, uh, get ready for the second half. The media's talked a lot about LeBron stretch over the last seven games, but you've been playing pretty well yourself. Talk about how comfortable you've been feeling out there. I mean, you know, we're getting there. Um, um, getting in better shape, of course, with all the games played. The time is better. The chemistry is better. Um, of course, you know, I want to bring a, a certain uh, element to the game. And you know, I think um, as long as I'm making shots and rebounding and playing off of each other and um, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do, being in my spots, uh, things will work out. What did you notice in those first couple games against the Hawks? You guys have needed a bit of a push, a run, to kind yeah. of close them out. Is well, that just how that is against them? Yeah, they're a good team. And, uh, you know, um, I think uh, in those games defensively early on, we, we were kind of, you know, looking different places, not in the right spots. Um, you know, we're trying to uh, continue to improve our defense right now. I think um, it's getting better. Our rebound is getting better. And if we, uh, you know, don't turn the ball over, uh, work our offense, um, get stops on these guys and get rebounds, um, just like in any game, we're, uh, we're tough to beat. Another backdrop on this game story-wise is obviously what's happening with Josh and the Hawks and they're trying to decide. This team in its current state hasn't had to deal with that type of distraction, but just your view of what the Hawks have to deal with when all that noise is thrown around while they're trying to... Well, I was saying before, play. it's it's, uh, it's a part of the business and uh, it's very difficult to, uh, to deal with while you're doing it because you know all you want to do is play basketball, but you know sometimes there's outside noise and that's, uh, that's a very tough part of it. But... You know, no matter what happens, uh, 8, 8 o'clock at night, that ball is going up in the air. So you might as well um, you know, get focused on the game.